Hi, I'm Terry McMahon, Chairman of the Board of Discovery World. Thank you for joining us for the 2020 Ignite the Spark Gala. About once a year, we tell ourselves a story. You may have heard it already. I'm going to tell it anyway. It's an origin story, and we tell it to remind us of where we've been. Back in the early 1980s, Bob Harland had an idea. Bob was a Milwaukee patent attorney, and he worked with inventors for a living. Bob figured the best way to help young people become innovators was to create a place where they could get their hands on science and technology. So Bob Harlan, along with his friends Andrew Tiny Rader, William Brady, Fred Stratton, and a few others started Discovery World in 1983. Our first home was in the basement of a boys and girls club just off of Brady Street on the east side of Milwaukee. Soon after that, we moved to the central branch of the Milwaukee Public Library. Bob and Andrew Rader then invited Mike Cudahy, philanthropist and co-founder of Marquette Electronics, to join the board. In 1995, Discover World moved to 815 North James Lovell Avenue next to the Public Museum. Mike was a relentless tinkerer and a brilliant entrepreneur. He gave the organization new energy. Mike's vision, foresight, and determination gave Discover World a new future and a new home. In 2006, we moved again, this time to our beautiful space on the shore of Lake Michigan. With the help of our friends and community partners, we expanded our mission to include freshwater sciences and conservation, biology and medical science, and design. We added lab spaces. We created the Coles Design It Lab. We built a great summer camp program. We kept going. In 2018, we added a stunning 10,000 square foot pavilion and new exhibit space. In 2019, Brian Wunar joined Discovery World as our president and CEO. That's the story of how we got here. 2020 really looked like it was going to be our best year. We were ready to expand our professional development program for science teachers and our repeat programming for underserved students. We were working on a new lab experiences for school groups. We were working on new exhibits and experiences for our members and the guests. And we were on pace to break all kinds of attendance records. And we were excited to celebrate the 20th anniversary of the sailing of the Dennis Sullivan. Instead, the pandemic hit and we shut our doors for four months. The world changed in ways that we are even now beginning to understand and work through. But we did not quit. Everyone here, and I mean everyone, every board member, our friends and community partners, our senior leadership team, directors, managers, educators, support staff, guest service staff, boat crew, custodians, our parking garage attendant, and security guards work to keep Discovery World going. Our education team, Cole's Design It Lab team, and the chorists created Discovery World at Home, an online place full of hands-on projects, videos, and other resources for students and parents. Given the extraordinary circumstances, we had a wildly successful summer camp season. We developed policies, procedures, and a training program that allowed us to safely reopen. And we have not stopped. We are still working on new exhibits, events, and exciting guest experiences. Our education team is developing virtual field trips and labs for teachers and students. We're doing the work and making it work because we love this place and because Discover World's mission is more important than ever. 2020 may not have been our best year, but in many ways, it has been our finest. So what's next? We have an opportunity to redefine ourselves, to tell new stories. What does it mean to be a science center? What do we want our guests to discover? How do we better inspire curiosity and love of learning in young people, all young people? And how can we better help everyone build a brighter future for themselves and others? How do we make a bigger impact in the community? And how do we work with our corporate friends and community partners to build an even more robust pipeline to STEM careers. That's what's next. With your support, we will make it happen. Thank you.